Okay, so let's have situation three. This is November 2022 board exam. So I already have a solution to this problem using matrix. So ginawan ko ng bagong solution dito, no? Kasi based on our experience sa review center, hindi na kukuha ng mga students yung matrix solution. Okay? So I will uh, solve this problem by just using simple equilibrium equations. All right. The homogeneous boom AC in the figure weighs 35 kilonewtons is supported by a ball and socket joint at C and two cables AD and AB. So what is the tension on cable AB, tension on cable AD, and also the reaction at point C? So, bali yung mga reactions na yung inahanap. So homogeneous yung boom AC natin, kaya yung weight na 35 kilonewton is acting at the center. Ayan. That will act at the center. So, kung 6 meters to lahat, from here to here, that means it is in uh, in between. So, 3 meters and 3 meters each yan. Okay? Kunin ko muna itong height na yan. Tawagin ko siyang H. So, by using this triangle, vertical triangle, naka 3 dito ha, you need to imagine uh, the 3D figure no, para masolve talaga natin siya. So using that triangle, we have an angle given 60 degrees. It means itong vertical side, we know the tangent of 60 degrees equal to H over adjacent 6 meters. Or H is equal to 6 tangent of 60 degrees. Alright, and that is 6 square root of 3. Gawin ko muna siyang exact values para makuha natin exactly yung nasa choices. Okay, so ang unang-una kong gagawin, Kunin ko muna yung mga coordinates of the points, of the needed points. Okay? So, yung point C natin, if given yung X, Y, and Z axis, point C is at 0, 0, 0. By the way, you can uh, put your origin at any points. Walang problema. Pwede mong ilagay kahit saang points, no? Kung hindi mo susundin yung axis na binigay, then you can do that. Walang magiging problema. Okay? So, ifollow ko na lang yung axis na ginawa ko dito, this will be my origin. So, yung coordinates at point A, alright, coordinates at point A, um, una is yung X coordinate. Titingnan natin yung X axis dito. Okay, ito yung X axis. Yung point A hindi nag-move along the X axis. No? Stagnan siya on the nasa Y axis sa mismo. That means X coordinate is 0. Yung Y coordinate naman natin dyan, this is our y-axis. So, nag-move yung point A from the origin, from here to here. It is 6 meters. Kaya 6 yan. Positive 6. Okay. Now, yung z-axis naman, I mean yung z-coordinate, this is our z-axis. So, vertical, from here to that point, it is 6 square root of 3. A sub point B. Alright. Yung coordinate ni point B, Yung x again, looking at the x-axis. So, the x-coordinate is to the negative x-axis. The measurement measurement here is 6. So, negative 6 tayo. Yung y-coordinate naman, okay, ito yung ating y-axis. Nag-move siya to the negative y-axis. Patras. Kaya, negative 3 meters yung measurement natin. While yung z-coordinate, Hindi siya umakyat o hindi siya bumaba yung point B natin. So, 0. Okay, yung point D naman. Alright, yung point D natin, yung X coordinate, nag-forward tayo to the positive X axis by 2.6 meters. So, X is 2.6. While yung Y coordinate natin, umatras ka, umatras tayo ng 4.5 meters. Kaya negative 4.5. While the z-coordinate at point D, hindi siya umakyat na, uh, based on that axis o hindi siya bumaba. So, zero yung ating z-coordinate. Bakit natin yung kinuha, sir? Kasi mas mapapabilis pag-define ng components of A, B, and A, D. Let me have first the, the vector of A, B. Vector A, B. Kasi uh, we know that these are intention. Yung forces ito, 
Okay, if you are considering the member AC, palayo, away from joint A. So, dapat from A to B, yung arrow natin, from A to B. So, yung vector niyan, isubtract lang natin yung kanilang coordinates. Bakit negative 6i? Negative 6 minus 0, so negative 6i. Huwag yung matakot sa i, j, k. Ano lang yan eh? Para lang alam natin yung directions of the components. Now, basta isubtract mo lang, b minus a. Head of the vector minus tail. Dapat head minus tail. Yung y naman, negative 3 minus 6. That's negative 9. So, j in y direction. Yung um, k, that is 0. Again, head minus tail. 0 minus 6 squared of 3. So, you have here negative 6 squared of 3k. Then, after that, kunin natin yung absolute value niya. Absolute value of AB. So, that is 15. Saan galing yung 15? That is simply square root. Huwag natin gamitin yung calculator kasi mahaba. Ito na lang. 6 squared plus 9 squared plus 6 square root of 3 squared. Ah, yan na lang. Para diretso. Yan yung absolute of AB. Again, uh, ginawa natin to kasi kailangan natin i-resolve to components yung ating tensions AD and AB para mas mabilis yung calculation for convenience. Okay, AD naman tayo. Alright, from A to D. Again, yung head natin is pointing at D. So, head minus tail. Ito yung magiging vector natin. 2.6 minus 0. 2.6i. Negative 4.5 minus 6, negative 10.5j. And 0 minus 6 square root of 3, you have negative 6 square root of 3k. And absolute of AD, again, that is simply square root of 2.6 squared plus 10.5 squared plus 6 square root of 3 squared. Okay, so you have here 15. Okay, so magagamit na natin yan. Okay, by that, let's have our free body diagram. So, tension AB, again, we are to consider this member, the homogeneous AC, away from joint, tension a, uh, AB. Tawagin ko na lang T sub B, away from the joint. Tension AD, is ito naman, away from the joint. Now, sa point C, it is the ball and socket joint. So, we have three reactions along X, Y, and Z axis. We can assume any direction. Let's say, yung C along X natin is ito. Yung uh, reaction along Y, let's say dito. And let's say, yung reaction along Z, let's say upward. Again, these are first my assumption. It can change, no? Depende sa makuha natin. Okay? So, now, yung tensions A, D, and A, B, mas maiging gawin natin ganito. Okay, transfer ko siya. Okay, from here, that one, gawin ko siyang components. And take note, transmissible yung force. Yung A, uh, tension D, i-transfer ko siya dito. Pwede. Ito naman, i-transfer ko siya uh, kay point B. So, mangyayari dito, Yung components of B, tension B, meron kang TBX, meron tayong TB along Y. Tingnan natin yung um, orientation ng axis, TB along Y, and TB along Z. Orientation ng Z axis is uh, vertical. So, pababa, of course, away from the joint. Kasi ito yung ating original tension. While at, at D, yung X direction natin is of course dito. Kasi pag ganyan yung ating uh, tension. Yung Z, uh, Y component is ito naman. And yung Z component is this one. TDZ. Okay, so these are the components. Ngayon, um, i-define ko muna yung vector. Vectors of B and vectors of tension D. Ano ba yung vectors? Huwag yung, katak huwag yung katakutan yung vectors. So, madali lang to. Let's say the Tension of vector B, vector is magnitude, magnitude of tension B times the unit vector. 
Ano yan? So, yung unit vector that is negative 6 over absolute value, 15. Negative 9 over 15. Then, negative 6 square root of 3 over 15. Ganun lang. Okay? Then, vector of D naman, that is the magnitude of the tension of D. The unit vector is 2.6 over 15. Negative 10.5 over 15. And negative 6 square root of 3 over 15. Bakit natin ito ginawa? Kasi, yung mga components na yan, alibawa, yung TBX, yung TBX is equal to TB times 6, square, uh, 6 over 15. Yan yung ibig sabihin niyan. TBY, that is TB times 9 over 15. Yung TBZ, that is TB times 6 square root of 3 over 15. Yan yung ibig sabihin niyan. Yung pag, sinabi na, uh, pag ginawa natin siyang unit vector. Alright, TDV naman. Halimbawa, TDX. That is tension D times 2.6 over 15. So, in terms of the tension B and D sila lahat. Yung mga components natin on each uh, cables. Okay? Now, using equilibrium condition, magmo-moment tayo. Uh, para makuha natin yung tension A and uh, tension B and tension D una, we need to eliminate the reactions at point C. Gumawa tayo ng um, equation na ma-eliminate muna natin yung reaction at C. So, we have at, uh, two best options here. Okay? Pwede tayong mag-summation of moment about the axis X. Dito. Uh, imagine natin. Kailangan talaga ng matinding imagination dito kasi naka 3 dito. The summation of moment x. Let's say positive in this direction. Why I'm using right hand rule, no? Pwede rin hindi. Pwede yung baliktad yung moment natin, no? Pwede ganyan yung positive. It's up to you. The, uh, it's not a problem. Let's say positive in this direction. So, kung nag-moment ako dito sa x, if you are taking moment about x, well, itong tatlong points na yan, I mean, tatlong reaction, matatanggal sa equation natin. Kasi andito sila sa point C. Dumaan sila sa mismong axis X. It will not create rotation. No? It, it will not cause rotation. So, ano yung magkakos ng rotation about X? So, imagine ano yung magkakos ng ganitong ikot. Okay? Now, tingnan natin yung point A, a point B, and point D. Now, sa point B, etong B, TBY, kung isipin natin, hindi yan magkakos ng rotation about that axis. Eliminated. The TBX will not cause rotation about this axis. I, uh, imagine ninyo, paano ga, gagalaw, paano iikot yung x-axis pag ganyan? So, this will not cause rotation kasi parallel yan sa axis. This one will not cause rotation because, okay, perpendicular yan sa axis. No? or dumaan sa mismo sa axis. Yung magkakos ng rotation dyan is the TBZ. Bakit? Diba? Ito yung ating moment arm. That is the moment arm about this axis. So, perpendicular yung TBZ sa um, ano natin. Moment arm. Perpendicular sa moment arm. So, kung mag, uh, merong force pa ganyan, then that will cause rotation about this axis pa ganyan. Okay? So, yung rotation dyan, summation of moment about X, so positive if we are following right-hand rule. So, that is TBZ, its moment arm is 3 meters. And the TBZ, yung TBZ is TB times this one, times K. TB times uh, 6 square root of 3 over 15 times the magnitude TB. Wag mo nang um, tingnan yung signs dyan. These are for forces alone. Kung mag-moment tayo, then we have here the direction, sundin mo yung direction. Okay? So, positive tayo kasi uh, this is our assumption as positive moment. So, TD, TBZ, its moment arm is 3 meters. Okay? Now, the same at point B, TDY and uh, component X hindi magkakos ng rotation about x axis. Kasi ito siya is parallel to this axis. So, hindi gagalaw. I mean, hindi siya iikot in this manner. 
Same as TDY. So, direct to the axis tayo. That will not cause this rotation. Yung magkakos ng rotation about x-axis is TDZ then. So, kasi ito yung moment arm niya. It is perpendicular to that moment arm. So, TDZ times 4.5. So, that will cause this rotation. A positive pa rin yung moment natin. And the TDZ is TD times 6 square root of 3 over 15. TDZ yan. Z component. Moment arm is 4.5. Okay. So, another force that will cause rotation about this axis is the weight of the pole. So, 35 times 3 meters. Kalahati ng 6. Now, yung rotation naman na makokos ng 35 kilonewton about this axis is opposite to the positive moment. Ganito yung makokos niya na moment. So, we'll take that one as negative moment. So, 35 kilonewtons times, again, kalahati nito is 3 meters. Times 3. Equal to 0. Ito, wala yung moment about the axis. So, equation 1. Kailangan natin ng two equations. Dalawa yung announce natin. Alright. Another axis. Uh, Pinakasimple. Mag-moment tayo about the y-axis. Dito. Pwede rin sa z-axis. No? Pero mas simple pag y-axis. I'll give that to you. Itry nyo sa z-axis. Basta kailangan ma-relate natin si tension B at tension D. Goal pa rin natin sa paggawa ng equation is to eliminate first the reactions at C. So, moment ako about y-axis. If I, if I am following the right-hand rule, i-point natin yung uh, thumb natin to the positive y-axis. Ito yung positive rotation about the y-axis. Pag ganito. Okay? So, what will cause this rotation? Imagine ninyo ano yung magkakos ng rotation na yan. At tingnan natin yung mga at points B and D. Yung TDY that will not cause rotation about y. Parallel sila. No? Walang moment arm. This is not moment arm, ha? Imagine nyo lang, kung ipupush to dito, oh, of course, distance yan, no? About that axis. Pero, hindi yan iikot in this manner. We need imagination. Yung TDX naman, yung X component, although may distance yan, but that will not cause rotation in this manner about that Y axis. So, that means the X and Y component, same as here, X and Y component will not cause rotation about the Y axis. Yung magkakos ng rotation is still TDZ and TBZ, the Z component. Okay? Yung 35 kN naman will not cause rotation about the Y axis kasi to the, to the axis yan. Imagine nyo yung rotation about that axis. Okay? So, I will start with the TBZ para same arrangement ako dito sa taas. So, yung TBZ, kung titignan natin yung assume positive moment natin about y-axis, that is opposite to the moment. TBZ, the moment arm is 6. So, minus, kaya uh, negative kasi opposite to the positive moment na we assume. So, minus TBZ. And TBZ again is TB times this. Again, this sign here is based on the rotation. That is, that is not based on the sign of vectors. Okay? TBZ, moment arm is 6. Again, Y and X component will not cause rotation about Y axis. Dito naman, TDZ, moment arm is 2.6. This is perpendicular. Okay? So that will cause positive moment. Same as that rotation. So, positive tayo. So, plus TDX, I mean TB, TDZ. Again, TDZ is TD times 6 square root of 3 over 15 in terms of tension D. Kasi ma-distribute yan. Yung moment arm niya is 2.6. The load will not cause moment about that axis. So, equal to 0. Equation 2. Okay, using mode 5.1, two equations to ano, linear simultaneous equation. Makukuha natin yung tension B and tension D. 11.323 and 
13. 11.32 and 26.13. Okay? So, kung gagawin natin yan sa calculator, pakita ko na lang. So, you have mode 5, 2 equations, 2 unknowns. So, you have here uh, 6 square root of 3. Ito, I'm just following this one. Dapat the same arrangement, TB, TB, TD, and TD. 6 square root of 3 divided by 15 times 3. Yung coefficients lang nila. Okay? Ito naman, 6 square root of 3 divided by 15 times uh, 4.5. So, dito sa format na yan, dapat yung constant term i-transpose sa kabila. So, dapat magiging, kung i-transpose natin yan on the other side, that must be 35 times 3. Then, second equation, this one. Negative, negative 6 square root of 3 divided by 15. The same lang pala lahat, no? Yung moment R na yung nagbabago. Times 6. Then, 6 you have your 6 square root of 3 divided by 15. Its moment arm is 2.6. The constant term in equation 2 is 0. So, pressing equal. Hmm, mali yung nakuha natin. So, I think meron akong maling na input. Uh, balik ko lang. Saan kaya ako nagkamali? 6 square root of 3 divided by 15. Moment arm is 3. Okay, then 6, 6 square root of 3 divided by 15, moment arm is 4.5. Dito naman is 35 times 3 meters. Alright, then next, negative 6 square root of 3 divided by 15, moment arm is 6. And 6 square root of 3 divided by 15, moment arm is 2.6. Then 0. Ayun, kuha na natin. TB is 11.323. Then tension D is 26.13. Okay. So kung meron na tayong tension uh, B and tension D, then makukuha na natin yan. Pwede summation of forces na lang. And X, Y, and Z axis. Alright, gamitin ko na lang yung summation of forces. Una, summation of forces along X. Tingnan natin lahat ng X component. Unahin natin yung unknown. Cx, inassume natin to the negative X axis. So, negative Cx. Alright. Then, Tbx. Okay, that is to the ne negative X axis. Kaya, negative. Okay. You can follow this one na. Yung sign dito, wala nang problema. Kasi forces, basta forces lang, you may follow that sign. So, TBX is TB times 6 over 15, where TB is 11.323, then 6 over 15. So, you may follow the sign for summation of forces. Then, TDX, just follow the sign. TD, 26.13, Okay, times, uh, times 2.6 over 15. Then, there's no other forces along X na. Tingnan nyo lahat ng forces along this one. Equal to 0. That means, CX pala is 0. Balance yung force natin along X axis. Okay? Summation of forces Y. Tingnan natin along this axis. So, what are the Y forces? Unahin ko yung ating unknown. CY. Assume ko dito to the positive y axis. So, CY. Okay. Then, TBY. O, TBY is to that direction. That's negative. Or you may follow the sign. So, TB times negative 9 over 15. Or TB times 9 over 15 negative. Then, TDY. O, TDY is TD. Times, alright, TD times 10 over 5. Negative or negative yan dyan. Or you may uh, look at the direction of the forces. 
Now, wala nang y, uh, uh, y forces there, so equal to 0. Kuha natin si CY. Then, to solve for Z, summation of forces along Z. So, CZ to the positive Z axis. Assume ko dito. Then, TBZ downward. Or you may look at the sign. TB times that Y. So, TB is 11.323. Okay, then multiply by 6 squared of 3 over 15. Then TDZ. So follow this one. TD times 6 squared of 3. Negative. Kaya magiging negative siya. But take note, meron kang load 35 kilonewtons along the Z axis. And it is downward to the negative Z axis. So minus 35 pa dito. Then equal to 0. Kuha natin si CZ. But yung dinatanong dito is the reaction at C. Basta yung term is only reaction, it must be the total reaction. RC. So, square root of CX squared plus CY squared plus CZ squared. Substituting the value CX, CY, CZ, makukuha natin 65.91. Okay? 65.91.